morning, Stingrays. Here are today's events. Good morning, Stingrays. I want to talk about next week. We have a lot of events coming up next week. On Tuesday, we have another home basketball game against Creekside Middle. But on Thursday, we have an away game. So good luck to our boys and girls team. They've been doing a great job. And we have about three weeks left of basketball games. Also, students, please make sure that you are in your areas. It's very important that you are in your classes when you should be in your classes, that you are not going to other teachers' classes, and that you are always in the areas you were supposed to be. This is going to help with all of our discipline issues on campus. So please make sure that you stay in your areas. This past Wednesday, teachers did interim grades, so that's midterm reports. Now we're on the second part of the last nine weeks. Those of you in eighth grade, you don't have very many more days, about 29 days or so before you go to the high school. And sixth and seventh graders, you're very close to going to the next grade and, and being our seventh and eighth graders. So please, please make sure you're looking at your grades. We don't wanna see you in summer school. Hope everyone has a great weekend, and remember, Stingrays first. Hi, Stingrays. Welcome to this week's uh, edition of The Sitch. No one? <laughs> Someone you know hasn't been at school in over a month. What do you do? I would probably call them or text them Um, I do that, and then if nobody was responding at all, I'd probably go to a guidance counselor and see if they could get a hold of them. I would try to call or text them, but if they didn't respond, I'd have my mom or dad call their parents. I would try to get a hold of them, but if they don't respond, get my parents to, and if my parents can't get a hold of them, talk to a guidance counselor. Yeah, I would do what Rebecca and Piper did. I would text them, and if they don't respond, I'd have my mom text them. And then if no one's answering, I would go to a guidance counselor. I would do what Reagan, Piper, and Rebecca <laughs> did. If they don't answer, go to a guidance counselor. I would probably just message them, and if I can't get a hold of them, contact their parents. I would call them and see what's going on, try and help them prepare. All right, those are all, all really good uh, answers. Um, definitely, if you have their phone number, um, you can text them, or if you have their parents' numbers, reach them also. But definitely, in addition to that, come to your um, counselor so that we can call home, uh, and we might have some other numbers of other relatives that we can reach out to also, um, if that's the case, if we can't get a hold of a parent. So, thank you. Hello, everyone. My name's Captain Shivers, and I'm here with a special guest. I'm Lieutenant Smith, and this month's school of character topic is self-control. Self-control means being able to control your actions and emotion, even during the times when you feel like doing something else. Throughout history, self-control has played a huge role in the lives of many world leaders. Napoleon is quoted as saying in part, the greatest victory is the victory over ourselves. Before you can control your environment, you must first control yourself. Self-control is important because it helps you make good decisions. It helps you think before you act and avoid making reckless choices that you might regret later. This can be anything from practicing sports instead of playing video games to putting off doing your homework until the last minute. Self-control is not just something that relates to bad behavior. However, it can be hard to have self-control, especially when you're feeling angry, frustrated, or upset. But with practice, you can develop your self-control skills and become better at making it good choices during the toughest moments. So if you're feeling angry or upset or having trouble working on your assignments, take a deep breath and try to calm down before you say or do anything. This will give you a moment to calm down and make the best decision. Remember, having self-control is an important part of being a responsible and respectful person. So keep practicing self-control and always try to make the best choices you can. As always, attitude is contagious. So let's all be kind to one another. Thank you.